What's up folks, my name is Melvin and welcome back. And I just realized today when checking the calendar, it's a date that I put on myself. Look, I knew this virus, I knew it was going to spread. No one in my family really believed it was happening until it actually happened. When you see it spreading pretty much too late, like you know it, like it's not a joke anymore. Um, you're not being overly cautious. You're actually being un like, I don't know if there's a word, underly cautious or something. I sort of begged my mother to quit her job because I knew this was going to spread. I knew she had money saved um, for mortgage and other things. Like I knew she had money saved and I had money saved. I really wasn't worried. I, I've been looking for a job, but I knew I wasn't too worried um, if I wasn't working yet. So I said, mom, like, please quit. I also live with two other relatives, grandma and my aunt. I didn't want them getting it either. So I was like, please quit. Let's just relax at home. Let's try to make, do our best. We did it. The day after she quit, I put a date on. Okay, we're officially quarantined. Other people in my family didn't believe me. So they would try to visit. Uh, I had my brother visit. And funny enough, he's in a place where it's like over a hundred people contaminated with the virus officially. In my area right now, it's like 12 people. So right now where I live, it's very small. I believe there is a death in his area. In my area, there hasn't been a death yet. I'm pretty lucky in this situation just because I live in a very, very rural area and I saved a lot of money where I was working before. Oh my God, just realizing that now it's been two weeks, like, oh my God, I'm already exhausted. I'm already feeling slow and tired just from hearing the news and talking about these things. I learned that, you know, 6.6 .6 million Americans are filing for unemployment. And I was actually one of those people because I was supposed to be working but because of the virus, I could not uh, work at that job. Like I was approved for a job, but then they said that they couldn't, they didn't have time to train me. And yeah, that number's just gonna keep rising. Getting the virus, that's gonna keep rising. The amount of deaths, that's gonna keep rising. Like all those things. Not many people saw it coming, not many. And it just seemed like the people who should have said something didn't until it was too late. Life is life. We just have to see it for what it is. We shouldn't let that affect ourselves. Um, if you're quarantined, I highly recommend trying to get into meditation. That has helped my stress and anxiety go down by a lot. When I set that date, I also said, we're gonna know someone who has the virus. Like we're gonna know someone. It might not be a family member. It might be a family member knowing someone, but we'll know someone. Like they'll be in our in our circle who has the virus. And shortly enough, um, on the 31st, my uncle from New York, uh, he said that he was trying to move in with someone, but then he had the virus and he didn't wanna go anywhere near that. So yep. The 31st, that's when we found out someone was gonna have the virus within that two week period, so I was right. <laughs> All right, you guys take care. Have a great rest of your day.